Hey, how you doing? Quick disclaimer before the video continues, in this video I will be speaking on both Japanese and Chinese cultures and their respective differences. I by no means am professionally educated on either of these topics and all my sources will be linked below. This video is not intended to be harmful or disrespectful to anyone or any group of people. I just found the topic very interesting and wanted to make a video on it. So just please enjoy. Alright, so with Arataki Ito, one of the newest confirmed Genshin Impact characters supposedly coming in version 2.3, hopefully, because he looks so good. A lot of speculation has been put out about his mask, and with good reason. The reason being is that it's actually somewhat similar to Zhao's mask. Although they may somewhat resemble each other, the two characters are most likely not related just because of their masks. There are many cultural differences between these two characters, let alone the masks, and it's important to respect both of them, so keep that in mind before we officially begin. So let's start with Zhao, since we know the most about him, and well, he's already in the game. So as you may know, Zhao is the only known remaining Yaksha out of the five total, with the exception of the one who just kind of disappeared. The five Yaksha were called upon by Morax during the Archon War in order to temper and suppress the demonic spirits and godly manifestations that bedeviled Liyue. Keep this in mind, Zhao was called on in order to subdue demonic spirits. Just keep it in mind, please. After time, unfortunately, the Yaksha adopted withered souls through karmic debt. They were overwhelmed by these negative emotions, which caused them to just turn against each other or simply give in to the darkness within themselves. Other than Zhao, which was mentioned before since, well, he's still alive, even though he's not, you know, all that good. Now, to speak about why you actually came here, his mask. Zhao's mask, or most likely all the Yaksha masks, are based on Chinese Nuo opera masks. Keep in mind that Liyue is the region in Genshin Impact based off China, or at least most closely represents China. The purpose of these masks, as well as many other things, was to drive away devils, disease, and evil influences, and also to petition for blessings from the gods. If you recall, this was almost word for word what Zhao and the other Yaksha were tasked with doing. Killing demonic spirits and diseases from Liyue. A fun fact before we head on over to Ito, the blue spirit masks from Avatar The Last Airbender was actually based on a Nuo mask. I'm pretty sure this was confirmed in one of the art books and I mean it's pretty cool so now you know. Now with Arataki Ito, it doesn't get confusing, but just make sure you follow along. Ito is an Inazuman character, Inazuma being the region in Genshin Impact based off Japan, or at least, again, most closely represents Japan. Already, it is important to note that just because their masks may look similar, they're both based on different cultures and have different intentions in folklore. Regardless, with the addition to his horns and other non-human features, we can tell that Ito has an Oni mask. These were also called devil masks as the word oni, in formulated translation, is the devil. The term oni is believed to have come from the word on, which is the onyomi reading of the character, and that's the character I don't know how to pronounce it. This character generally translates to the act of hiding or concealing. Also, oni were known to be the cause of disease, disasters, and other horrible things and events. Furthermore, they are also able to take on different forms in order to deceive and, more often than not, just gobble up human beings. If you couldn't already guess, Ito himself is also part Oni, and that's why he has an Oni mask. Putting two and two together, there is just most likely no positive relationship at least between Zhao and Ito. Both characters are based on completely different cultures, but may actually have some correlation, I guess? It seems as if Ito is the definition of what Zhao was just literally trying to subdue during the Archon War in Liyue. I honestly wouldn't doubt seeing some canonical conversations between Zhao and Ito, or probably just Zhao somehow having a sense of Ito, who knows. Or maybe even during Ito's story quest if we get one, but I mean that's about it. As I mentioned before, I by no means am an expert on this topic and I just wanted to talk about it. I thought it was pretty interesting and it's also just a topic that I initially thought of when seeing Ito's design for the first time, which again, I am literally in love with this character. I know this was a short video, but you know, not all the videos have to be that long. I do hope you enjoyed. Love you guys. Ciao.